Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. So the sound quality in my original video was just really bad, so for the most part, I will just be voiceovering everything. My name is Mariah, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first video, and if you are liking this look and want to know how to get it, just keep watching. I'm going to start off by priming with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I'm just using this to set the primer. So now I'm grabbing my Dior Forever Foundation. So I just sprayed my beauty blender with a little bit of all-nighter setting spray just to prolong my makeup and I'm just blending it all out now. I'm just taking my Huda Beauty Concealer and I'm just going underneath the eyes. I'm going to go down the nose, on the forehead, on the chin, on my smile line, just about everywhere. So I sprayed my beauty blender with a little bit of all-nighter setting spray and now I'm just blending out the concealer. So I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I'm just going to create a little line underneath my brow and just follow it all the way through to the end. I'm going to start about midway through the brow and then just pull it all the way to the end and fill it in. And then you're done. Just kidding. Now I'm just going to go back to the beginning of my brow and I'm just going to start drawing little tiny lines just to give it that more natural effect. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow off camera, so I'll be right back. So now that I'm done with both brows, I'm just kind of brushing them out to make it more natural looking. And then I'm going to take this Morphe flat brush and then I'm going to use that to define my brows. You want to start right underneath the brow and then just pull it along the line and blend it out with a beauty blender. You're also going to want to do the same thing on the top brow. Now I'm going in with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Set and just brushing that through. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Fenty Matchstick in Mocha. You're going to want to put this basically anywhere that you want to look smaller or more defined. So I just took my Beauty Blender and sprayed it with All Nighter Setting Spray and now I'm just blending everything out. You want to make sure that when you're blending a uh, cream contour that you are using like patting motions. You want to make sure that you're really patting it into the skin just to give it a really flawless look and make it look like your actual skin. Now I'm taking the side of the beauty blender that I used to conceal with and I'm just dragging that underneath my contour just to give it a more defined look. I took my Fenty Matchstick and now I'm just using my beauty blender to blend out my nose contour. I'm grabbing my Huda Beauty Baking Powder. When I bake under my eyes, I like to start right underneath the nose contour just to give it a little more definition. And then I basically just set anywhere that I've highlighted I'm just taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer and just spreading that around and blending it out with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm grabbing my Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia and dipping into Rustic. Now I'm going to take my Morphe 506 brush and I'm just going to start packing that shade in and blending it out slowly. Now I'm just kind of bringing it more towards the center and pulling it forward and just blending that out. Now I'm going in with Burnt Orange. I'm just going to place that slightly over top of Rustic and Blend. So I'm just going to be going in with small circular motions and just going back and forth to blend it all out. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer. You can use either concealer or primer. And I'm going to be using my Morphe brush and I'm going to just go ahead and start cutting that crease. I'm 
going in with tempura and I'm just going to pack that on where I have cut my crease. I just took some cypress umber from the soft glam palette and I'm just placing that in any area that I feel like I want to add a little bit more depth and dimension. So to do my liner, I like to just start by drawing a line underneath to give me a base and then I go to the center and just connect the two. After I get my wing the way that I want it, I just go ahead and I just fill it in. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and start working on the inner corner of the eye. I'm gonna kind of bring that line down a little bit just to kind of create a cat eye look. So now I'm grabbing my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liner in the color Snow, and I'm just dragging that line across my black liner that I already have applied. Now that I've applied the white liner to both eyes, I'm just grabbing my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and applying that to both sides. I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder and I'm just using this to set the face and wipe away any excess powder. Now I'm grabbing my Rich Amber Bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just using that to define my contour on my cheeks and forehead. Now I'm grabbing some of the Huda Beauty setting powder and I'm just dragging that along my contour. For my highlight today, I'll be going in with Santorini from Kylie Cosmetics. I like to highlight underneath my brow bone and then I also like to go down my nose and highlight that as well. And then I'm also going to go over my cupid's bow. For my blush today, I'll be using Mocha by MAC Cosmetics. I'm grabbing my Anastasia Beverly Hills Black Waterproof Liner and I'm just placing that in my bottom waterline. Now I'm grabbing some of Cypress Umber and I'm just smoking that on the bottom lash line. I'm just grabbing my liner and fixing that point to make it really clean. Now I'm just going in with my mascara and just applying that to my bottom lashes. Wait. Now I'm going to be applying my MAC 48 lashes and I'm just using some duo glue. The easiest way for me to apply lashes personally is I just stick them down to the center of my lid and then I'll go back and then I'll play with the sides and kind of adjust it to the place that I want it to be. Now for my lip liner, I'm going to be going in with Strip Down from MAC Cosmetics. I just grabbed BFF3 from ColourPop and I'm just using it to define my lips a little bit more. Now I'm grabbing Honey Love from MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to use that for my lip. Now I'm going to be topping that with All Things Magical Lip Glass. So now we're going to start getting into the gems. You guys have no idea how difficult this was. I could not stop dropping them. So I started off just by applying the larger gems just to give myself a base. And then as I kept applying more, I started going in with uh, smaller and smaller ones. This is basically what would happen every time I tried to apply one. <laughs> they just were so difficult. But honestly, when you see the outcome, I think it looked really cute. So I'm glad that I stuck with it and got through it. And I'm still just going in with gems. I really didn't have any method behind where I placed them or anything. I just kind of kept putting them on until I thought it looked good and then I just stopped. And I'm still going in with the gems. You have no idea, honestly. 
how many times I had to go through to this part of the video and edit out all the times that the gems fell from my face. I really didn't think the gems would ever come to an end, but they finally did, and it was looking really cute. I was really happy. All right, you guys, so thanks for watching. This is the completed look. I honestly really like it. It looks real cute, so I hope you enjoyed watching me get this look. Thanks for watching.